Avengers Alliance Facebook game team selection uh, my rating currently is 1314 1314 um, I'm wearing a tactician suit on my agent panther I have a level 9 she-hulk I have a level 9 Captain America that's actually in the training mission at the moment um, but it's still available for player versus player so I'm going to look through my list I've got one guy that's 958 for his rating so we're gonna go ahead and target him since he's a level 48 and he's the highest ranked opponent other than that 50s down here but their rank their rating is really low so based on his rating we're gonna fight him alright we've entered the the load screen now this is the strategy section here um, I lead with Captain America Captain America's ability is you know lead the charge so he almost always goes first right so when my opponent doesn't have a shooter okay a blaster character um, I go ahead and plan to use the shield guard ability now strategically the shield guard ability is the best bet right because there's three people and each of those three people could attack so Captain America gets one action per per activation round so he could either make his one attack or he gets a chance to use a retaliation against three different ones so that shield guard gives him a shot at getting three attacks off of one action alright and because it intercepts all incoming attacks it's going to pretty much take place so my next character up this time is my agent panther I'm equipped with the unipulse weapon and I'm going to fire that at spider-man because if I don't get rid of spider-man fast his guarding ability is going to be annoying so we're going to see if he's going to dodge and he takes a critical for 357 All right. when he tries to retaliate against my agent Captain America intercepts it. Now Captain America's suit is pimped out right now. So he's got a lot of, uh, of dodge and, and health and stamina effects going on. He's got some attack enhancement. Alright. So all this is going on and it's just making Hulk mad. Now I've got Spider-Man down to almost dead now as you can kind of see there. Alright. Now Cap is vulnerable because he's a tactician. He's vulnerable to Spider-Man's infiltrator's uh, ability. But it's the vulnerability is negligible when you're focusing your all of your actions in that direction. So my next target to get rid of is not actually Hulk. The next thing I need to get rid of is their agent because their agent could have a healing ability. And if he does, all the work that I'll spend a turn or two doing on Hulk to damage him just gets healed. So She-Hulk is going to start with using her burst of speed to get two actions. I'm going to use the punch combo. And she's going to run over and go whack him a couple of times. Uh, my opponent has the golden tomfa and gets that free at counter attack. So Cap intercepts that. Now this I've noticed almost never hits. When it does it hits really well. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot this time and see what happens. Alright, so we got what I needed off of it. That's great. So Cap is going to shield guard again. And unlike most other effects with that, that countdown on it, the shield guard does not have that. So now my agent is going to try to finish off their agent. And I miss by just a touch. He's stunned, so he won't get an action anyway. Now that shield guard is funneling all of their actions at Captain America even when they do a group an area effect attack so Cap is saving the rest of my team even if Cap himself goes down he's bought the rest of my team plenty of time alright I'll scoop up a precise ISO 8 chip now that it's just Hulk left I'm going to still use that shield guard going to use my agent and that unipulse. Now the unipulse improves every time it's fired at the same target. 
So if I shoot at Hulk again next turn, it'll get a better attack and better damage. And hopefully it'll it'll put an end to Hulk for me. Alright. It might not be necessary. It looks like She-Hulk might be getting a shot at, at taking him down right now. So she's going to go ahead and boost burst of speed. Alright. We'll lead with the rock throw at Hulk. Just to see if it works. And he dodged it like we kind of thought he would. Alright. It's not a big deal. I like throwing the rock, but realistically it's just not a strong strategy. So She-Hulk goes in with the punch. And there you go. My team finished that fight with almost no damage taken because of that shield guard ability.